Welcome everybody to a workout with Dr. Hassan, also known as Doc Tars. I'm Dr. Hassan, board certified trauma anesthesiologist. This is my first workout video here on YouTube. Check it out. It's been Ramadan. I have not eaten or I mean I have not worked out in almost one month entirely. I worked out for one single day. So here we go. I'm doing legs today. I got my Jordans on, some orange mats in the orange. I put some captions in here so you can kind of go back and pause it if you want to see what kind of workouts I'm doing. But we're doing a leg workout today. Now, first off, we're gonna start this leg workout with some uh, dumbbell squats. Now, I like to do these with a 45 pound weight. This 45 pound weight lets me really, really engage my core, build up my core strength because I don't wanna have a back injury in the future. I used to do a lot of squats, but now I've started doing squats on a barbell, but now I've started doing squats forward facing with my core engaged. The next exercise I really like to do are these leg raises or back raises or whatever they are. Um, the reason I like this is because I suffered a back injury when I was younger, um, herniated disc. So I really work on trying to strengthen my hamstrings and strengthen my lower back. This movement really engages my entire lower back, builds up those paraspinal muscles, and also kind of strengthens um, the area where I got injured. Now, it's uh, really important that you follow, keep your back arched up during this so you don't stress out the discs in your back um, that way you can kind of avoid any injury and any pressure on your lower back and your discs so keep your back arched now you see i try my best in all these movements to keep my back as neutral as arched as possible these are the single dumbbell raises i really like these because i get to engage cross body so if i hold it with my left hand right here i'm lifting my right leg up that puts the tension across my central core which allows me to kind of strengthen my core so i'm a big believer in pt um, when i hurt my back i did a lot of pt and they talked about really engaging your core and strengthening your core ever since i've done that i felt a hundred times better i also don't do super heavy weights as you can see i'm doing deadlifts here about 60 pounds i think because I haven't deadlifted in a month at all, so I'm not trying to injure my back. I'm not going to get the gains back as quick as possible, but I really work on these micro movements as well. As you see, I'm kind of tilting forward and keeping my back arched because these are movements that you do every single day. And what I want to do here is kind of engage all those muscles, fire them again, kind of get that blood flow and the rebuilding going on. If you guys don't know, your muscles are constantly breaking down and being rebuilt over the course of a day. They're not just static, so they're used for energy or amino acids. So what you want to do is engage them, trigger them to grow more instead of being broken down. So all these little movements that I'm doing, I'm trying to engage as many muscles inside of my body as I can, even the small muscles, and trying to just get the blood flow and the protein going back to them. I really like this instead of doing squats as well. Um, this machine lets me kind of isolate without having to put a lot of stress on my lower back. Like I said, I've had a back injury in the past. I don't want to go down that road again. So I really use that uh, press machine uh, to strengthen my legs without putting a lot of pressure on my back. Now my um, calf muscles, <laughs> I really enjoy working out. Uh, maybe because this machine is a lot easier than... Uh, uh, other machines but I do like the way my calves look so I always try to hit this machine I don't do crazy weights anymore because I don't want to tear an Achilles or anything like that I go for extra reps uh, less weight um, and then I go back to the uh, press machine because the press machine um, really <laughs> really works out your entire legs um, but it does give you that kind of nice uh, thick thigh that I enjoy um, and then back to the calf race machine as you can see I really enjoy the calf race machine because, uh, you know, good calves always look good when you have shorts on. I'm a big proponent of short shorts in the summer. So um, as you can see, my hamstrings are popping out there too. And then at the end, and then at the end what I try to do is isolate my legs. So this, this machine here lets me do each leg. You can see my legs are shaking because they're super weak. I'm only lifting probably like 50 pounds each. But my legs are kind of crumpling under the pressure of, uh, of uh, yeah, 50 pounds. You can see it in this video. 50 pounds, I'm only... I'm only pressing 50 pounds, but they're like shaking. And that's because all those different muscle fibers that haven't been engaged in over a month are now getting engaged and they're not nearly as strong as they used to be. So I really like this machine because it lets me do even one leg at a time where I can just isolate and really focus on that one leg as opposed to doing uh, both legs at the same time or doing heavy weights on a different machine. Um, at the end, I finish off with uh, one more set of um, uh, calves. That's a different machine. 
that lets you kind of push down. Uh, it's just a different movement. I try to work my calves. The calves need a lot of work in order to get big, get strong, so I try to get at least three reps in. Uh, and then always, always, always try to finish off your workout with a quick five to 10 minute elevated incline walk that burns the most calories, gets your glycogen stores uh, worked out. Thanks a lot, guys. Tell me what you think about this video. Please like and subscribe for more.